Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates Today update we will talk about and share with you a latest news about Home Secretary agreeing to Assange extradition would threaten media freedom Priti Patel has until 18 May to decide whether to certify Today's decision prolonged solitary confinement is common in US Maximum security jails publishing information that is in the public interest is a cornerstone of media freedom. Agnes Calamard if the Home Secretary certifies the U.S. request to extradite Julian Assange it will violate the prohibition against torture and set an alarming precedent for publishers and journalists around the world. Amnesty International said today. Following the Westminster Magistrates Court decision this morning to issue an order to extradite the WikiLeaks founder to the United States. The case will now be sent to the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, who will decide whether to certify the U.S. request by 18 May. Agnes Calamard, Amnesty International's Secretary General, said. The UK has an obligation not to send any person to a place where their life or safety is at risk and the government must not abdicate that responsibility. The US authorities have flatly stated that they will change the terms of Assange's imprisonment in a federal facility whenever they see fit. This admission places Julian Assange at great risk of prison conditions that could result in irreversible harm to his physical and psychological well-being. The extradition of Julian Assange would also be devastating for press freedom and for the public, who have a right to know what their governments are doing in their name. Publishing information that is in the public interest is a cornerstone of media freedom. Extraditing Julian Assange to face allegations of espionage for publishing classified information would set a dangerous precedent and leave journalists everywhere looking over their shoulders. The charges against Assange should never have been brought in the first place. It is not too late for the U.S. authorities to set things right and drop the charges. In the meantime, Given the politically motivated nature of the case and its grave implications for freedom of expression, the UK should refrain from representing the USA in any further appeals.